G'day tech friends, welcome back to the Offbit. Today we're going to be looking at the HD 5770 from back in 2009. Our question is, how well will it perform in 2020? So stick around and find out. Today our video card we're using is the Gigabyte HD 5770SOC. This is the super overclock version of Gigabyte's HD 5770. So, GPU is the Radeon HD 5770 by AMD. It's under the code of Juniper XT. AMD released these cards on October 12th in 2009. Our version clocks for the core is at 900 megahertz. The RAM is clocked at 4,800 megahertz. The RAM on this is actually GDDR5 and we've got 1,024 meg of it. The HD57000 series cards API support is Direct3D at the version 11. The open cell is 1.2 and open gel 4.5. This particular card comes with a six pin Molex connector on the back. And according to techpowerup.com, a TDP of 108 watts, suggesting a power supply of 350 watts. Test rig specs today are, we've got an i5-760 from Intel. It's a 2.8 gigahertz CPU quad core. We've packed in 8 gig of RAM of DDR3 using two 4 gig sticks at 1333 MHz. Today's motherboard is the Gigabyte H55M-S2H. We've got our usual hard drives that I have on our test rig. We have a 1 terabyte Western Green hard drive. Our operating system drive is the 120 gig Western Digital Green SSD and our data drive is a 240 WD Green SSD. And finally, our power supply is the usual. It's the Antec True Power Trio pumping out 550 watts of power. We've also bundled in some synthetic benchmarks. First up is a 3D Mark Fire Strike. We scored 1764 in the test. Compared to the rest of the world, it doesn't compare all that well to other video cards, but that's okay. We're seeing what we can push out of this puppy. In Unigen Heaven benchmark, we scored 159, running at 6.3 frames per second, showing somewhat sad results, but not too bad. Cinebench R15 gave us a score of 59.07 frames per second. Now the HD 5770 did pretty good in this test. It showed it was just behind a GTX 460, but I've found that this test sometimes gives false results. Or some cars a little bit more favored than others. Moving into the game benchmark phase, we're starting off with Fortnite. Game settings for Fortnite, we ran at pretty much very low. The resolution was 1920 by 1080 and the target resolution for 3D rendering was at 100%. Now the game did stutter when we got off the bus and that's where that 1.9% low probably came from. But for the rest of the round, the card ran pretty stable around 34 frames per second. Our averages showed to be 36.7 frames per second, so that's about right. Now, that's probably not what you want to be going in to play a competitive game. You probably want to get something that can target 60 frames per second at least. But for a budget card, it was definitely playable. Now, there is a bit more wiggle in the headroom. You could drop that 3D resolution target down to 80% or 70%. Or you could drop the resolution back to 720p. That will give you a few extra frames, which will make it a lot more better for competitive gameplay. To be honest, if I didn't know what the frame rates were doing, I may have not noticed. Patience. Next game on my list for 2020 is Overwatch. Now, 
I made this list from the top 10 games that were played online for 2020. Now I just grabbed a few, some of the games I owned. So this is where we're at. Now Overwatch, we ran at very low settings. We kept the resolution at 920 by 1080. For most part of this game, it ran pretty good. Our average frame rate was 56.7 frames per second. We had a cap at 60 frames per second, so the max never got past there. Now, I don't think the card struggled too bad. It did have a few lows. As you see, the 0.1% lows were 4.2. 1% set about 29.8 frames per second. So, for the most of it, the game ran pretty good. I think you'd be pretty happy to play this game on a regular basis on this HD 5770. Launching into PUBG, I was pleasantly surprised once again by this HD 5770. Now, I don't know if this because I've paired this up with 8GB RAM and a Core i5 this time, but I just keep finding this card just keeps hanging on. It's not perfect. Its average frame rate is at 41.8 frames per second, but it still seems to be pretty playable. Now, we did get 1% lows at 16.5 frames per second, so this has happened with a couple of little loads here now. I think there's a sort of little lag just there. I think that 0.1% low was mainly caused from when we first launched off the plane. There's probably a few other places where it paused when it tried to load some stuff. The game settings are at very low and we have set the resolution at 920 by 1080. You could probably push a little bit more out of this car by dropping the resolution back or even changing the target resolution. Like I said, on the whole, I'm actually quite surprised how well the card is hanging on. This might be because of the map that I'm in playing in this game, but I do know if you do get into a firefight, sometimes it just wants to load or do something and it will frustrate you like crazy and you'll probably throw your keyboard, depending on the outcome. From guns to swords, here we are, we're playing Sea of Thieves. Our game settings for Sea of Thieves was pretty much cursed, or better known as very low. Resolution we left at 1920 by 1080. Now, this game, there's not a lot of action that happens until something bad goes down. So for the most of it, this ran perfectly fine. Yes, our average frame rate is only 48.5, but it is higher than 30. It is higher than 40, it's almost 50, so it's actually feeling pretty good. Unfortunately, with the very low settings, the game doesn't look as spectacular as it usually would. Now, we did hit a couple of lows as it loaded things in, and a couple of things happened. Our 0.1% lows were at 1 frame per second, and we also hit a minimum FPS of 1.9 here. But, like I said, most of this game, you'll enjoy playing this. You might just want to turn it down to 720p, you probably get a lot more out of it. Even change that target resolution back a bit more. I'm a big fan of this game, I love this game. This is a great game to play with friends. Nothing better than jumping on a ship and just going out and hitting the seas together. The UI did glitch out just a little bit when I got bitten by a snake, but I didn't really see it for any other time. Best just to stay away from the snakes. The final game we're looking at today is Minecraft. This is the Bedrock Edition, or better known as the Windows 10 Edition. We have the resolution set to 1920 by 1080 and we are running the game settings at default. I did not touch anything, we just went straight in it and started playing. Now this version of Minecraft I think can almost literally run on a potato. 
Now when I'm running the game, it always sets the max frames to 60 frames per second. Now this might be the V-Sync, so if you have one of those better monitors, you might get a bit more out of it. But since we're running on old gear, 60 is the max for us. Now this game basically sat on 59.9 for the whole time. Pretty much ran seamlessly perfect. So wrapping up the HD 5770 for 2020. And I'll be honest, I didn't think this car was going to do it. Until we ran the benchmarks and I played it, I was astounded how well it handled for what year this car made. And it's not even a top card. It's somewhere in the mid-range. Yes, it wasn't perfect. And yes, it did drop out. And I know that I would get personally frustrated playing competitive gaming and just having low times when you need to shoot something or collect something or just do something critical. Now I've optimized this PC as much as I could. I turned off the virus check when I was playing games, turned some of the graphics down on the desktop. I ran the inspector program that disables those update microcode patches for your CPU, which generally slowed it down a little bit. So I squeezed everything I could out of it. And you know what? I think it paid off. This card still just hung in there. And if you have one of these cards, you probably want to look at upgrading. But if you've got no option, I think with a bit of tweaking, you could be quite happy and just choose what games you're going to play. I mean, have a look at PUBG. It ran PUBG. I really thought it was going to sink in PUBG. Not the perfect experience though, but yet it was all right. I know we left off a lot of games. There's still a lot of games out there that are played in 2020. This was just a snippet of what this car can do with these games. Now I will mention we try to run Apex Legends. I managed to get into a game, but the game crashed a desktop. Every other time I couldn't get out of the lobby. We did take it out to the firing range in Apex Legends and I can tell you it did not run great. Anyway, that's all i got time for today for this video. Now, if you like this video, please hit that like. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. It does encourage me to keep on making these videos. Now, before I finish up, I'd just like to mention how much I'm actually getting back from you guys. I'm really enjoying seeing those comments. Really enjoying that community that we're starting to develop in this channel. So please leave a line. Love to see the comments. Anyway... We'll catch you next time on the Off Bit.